Hi guys! In the previous lessons you learned what the tactics are in checkers, as well as how to perform combinations. In this video we go a step further. I will teach you the first of two basic tactical ideas. It will be transporting the opponent's pieces. But before we start, don't forget to leave the thumb up under the video and subscribe to the Checkers TV YouTube channel. Ready? Well, let's get started. Just to remind, combinations use the rules of the game, especially the fact that capturing is obligatory. Thanks to this, we can guide our opponent to make exactly the moves that we want him to play. Moreover, combinations are easy to use when there are many gaps in your opponent's position. Those gaps are three empty squares between his pieces. You can then, by sacrificing your own pieces, transport opponent's one to a square that will allow you to capture this and other opponent's pieces. Let's take a look at the first example and let's try to analyze this position. Can you find the gaps between your opponent's pieces? Of course, there are many of them. So now our job is to try to imagine if there is a square where we could put the dark piece, which would allow us to capture many of dark pieces. Can you find it? That square that we are looking for is here on 31. That would allow white pieces to collect many of dark ones. But is it possible to put the dark piece here on 31? Of course it is, thanks to the checkers tactics and the rules of the game. We can transport this one, standing on 15, to 31. How? By sacrificing our own pieces. The first one, the second one, the third one, and finally the fourth one. As you can see, the piece from 15 has made a long way to the other part of the board to stand on 31. And the last four moves of our opponent were exactly the moves we wanted him to play. Now white pieces take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is all of our opponent's pieces and win the game. Of course, the simplest way of using transporting opponent's pieces are combinations like this, that you already know from the previous lessons, but in this video we will focus on slightly more difficult examples. But let's go step by step. In this example we can win in a similar way to the previous position, but this time we have to sacrifice two pieces. The first one and the second one. That way, dark piece from 6 was transported to 28. Now white collects four pieces and win the game. Where do we need a dark piece now? Here, on 43. And how to make it working? By sacrificing two pieces and collecting four. In this diagram we can make use of one of the most useful combinations or shots in international checkers. This is called the Philip Coop, but I will teach you about that a bit later. Where do we need a dark piece? Here, on 33. And how to bring it there? By sacrificing two pieces. And after collecting four, white pieces win the game. Let's raise a bit the difficulty level of our examples. In this position, at first glance, some of you could say that the right move to play is here, because after this capture, white pieces would take four and win the game. But the problem is that after this one, there is another direction of capturing this one, and there is no combination left. So the right move to play to realize the idea of transporting this piece here to 33 is to make it around the board. How? 
by sacrificing one, two, three, and now to collect four and win the game. And how about this one? Can you find a way of winning this position? It would be great to have the dark piece standing here on 20. How to make it? By transporting 27. And it's done. Here you can see the dark pieces are standing in a nice way of possible capture. How to use it? Transport 15 to 42. Take 4 and the game is over. In this position light and dark pieces are standing quite far from each other, but still you can use the transporting of opponent's pieces to win the game. How? This is the way. And despite the fact that there are only three pieces against three pieces, this one from 19 is heading to a king and thanks to that white pieces win the game. This is a bit more hidden example of transporting opponent's pieces because in the first phase of the combination you have to transport it in a backward direction. How? And now forward to finally get six of dark pieces. To use the idea of transporting opponent's pieces we can combine different rules of the game. Of course, we know about mandatory capturing, but as well, we have to remind about majority capture rule. In this position, the right move to play is here, 25 to 20. The only possible capturing for dark pieces is to take two and not one piece. And then the last part of the combination. Finally, thanks to one-to-one -one opposition, white pieces win the game. Another example of using the majority capture rule to transport opponent's piece. How? We play 36-31. The only right move to play is to take two pieces. And once again, the same idea. Two pieces have to be taken and we take three straight to a king. In the idea of transporting opponent's pieces, in fact, not only pieces can be transported, but as well his kings. Like in this position. The first phase is to let our opponent go to the king and then to bring this king to the square that we need. Beautiful way of winning. And here is the last example of this lesson. Can you find a solution? Can you find a way how to win this position? As in the previous one, we have to let our opponent go to the king. And then we use the majority capture rule because after sacrificing 49 to 44, this king cannot take two pieces in that direction. The only possible capturing is to take three straight to 31 and after collecting king and other three pieces white have the winning position and that my dear viewers is all in this lesson i hope you liked the presented examples if so and you would like to watch more such videos on the checkers tv channel leave the thumb up under the video and subscribe to the checkers tv channel in the next lesson i will give you a small homework on the idea of transporting opponent's pieces. So, see you there!